here's the quiz for you. Have a look at that. It's, it's the big pink elephant. I want you to have a look at that and I want you to study it and I want you to get a sense of the trunk and a sense of the ears and a set and, and what I'd like you to do now, once you've got a bit of a sense of that, I'd like you to just close your eyes and get that picture in your head, okay? Just, so just close your eyes and get that picture in your head of that elephant, the pink elephant and some of the details. Can you do that for me? Just close your eyes just for a minute. Well, not even a minute, 10 seconds, friend. Now, what I'd like you to do now is I'd like you to not think about a big pink elephant, okay? So whatever you do, don't think about that pink elephant. And you can open your eyes. Now you've got that image out of your head, don't think about the big pink elephant. It's hard, isn't it? Because once you label it and you put it there, it's, it's kind of a bit stuck in your head. So one of the things you'll know, people who do that well, they, they substitute. They go, okay, well what's something else I can focus my attention on rather than just the big pink elephant? Pepperoni pizza. <laughs> pepperoni pizza. So I started doing that and I'm like, I've been kind of eyeing up the pepperoni pizzas for a little while, but you know, I'd go one of those and as soon as the pink elephant was there, try and switch it off and like, yeah, so it's, it's temporary in nature and one of the things that I do know is it's not about blocking out the thought and it's not about blocking out the emotion. If I say don't think about it, don't feel it, you can't do it, you're going to. So it's actually about looking it in the eyes and going, oh, there's that feeling, there's that thought again about that dog shit and there's that unfairness coming up, but just, just seeing it for what it is and we'll have some techniques and we'll give you five or six key techniques that you can use just about what do I do in that moment that might actually be useful.